Hello guys, I'm a teacher of Limboka and Sajuga Masame. Welcome to Limboka Physics. I have a question from AF Abuti, question number 10 from exercise 23. Uh, as you can see, this question is from the video uh, at the first display. Uh, we have a required to find the height of the pin above the liquid surface. I'm going to take a look on uh, these uh, uh, questions by using the diagrams below. We'll have two questions, two diagrams for two conditions, as you can see here. The first condition is when we use a plane mirror to make sure that the image of the pin, this is etching pin, will be clearly uh, seen. Uh, by the observer eyes and in such a way that there is no uh, parallax between uh, the other image that formed um, as of, of the object from the bottom of the container that contains liquid the image or, or dash this is really image the first image uh, of the pin is formed due to reflections and it appears to come from a point a P2 and the, the distance X from the plane mirror and uh, the second image is the image that's formed due to refractions uh, as from a object at the top at the bottom of the of the, of, of the containers and this image formed at a, a point Q and we name it as image O2. This image formed at a point in such a way that a image a P2 and image O2 uh, coincides. There is no parallax between them. This is two visual image formed within the uh, liquid of a given refractive index N. And another uh, image is the one that formed due to uh, as a refractory rays meet the normal rays that move at the bottom of the containers and back to the eyes of the observer <coughs> this image is O1 and this image coincides also with the image that's seen on the surface of the plane mirror which appears to come from P2. Okay, this uh, this image is 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 seen by eye observer eyes as there is no uh, as they have no any parallax uh, between as they are there is no any parallax between them as we say that they are coincides and uh, hence these conditions is achieved. At this at this point, okay. Now uh, this is a sliding cock where our pin is attached at act as object P, and this is P two, which is image two, on formed inside the liquids. This is formed P one formed on the surface, and this O two formed inside the liquid, and this O one formed on the surface, which is real, and this is visual as appear from the P two. Okay, and this is X and this is Z. Z is a distance from the surface of the liquid where we place a mirror. And this is distance X as from law of reflection, we know the object distance is the same as the image distance X. Okay, after seeing such a summary, let's take a look on the relationship between the incidence angle and the refracted angle. Which will give us relation, which will connect us to this refractive index of the liquid, and we taking consideration for the triangle RQS, RQS, and the triangle ROS. And for these triangles, we'll have a sign of R, of, of R and a sign of I, as you can see here. But from Snell laws, uh, we substitute and we remain with a formula as 
when we say that the observer eyes is moving close close to the normals for a uh, where the refraction take place we see that os or this os is equal to or and our qs will be equal to qr remember or is equal to displaced distance y and qr is equal to distance x minus z okay as you can see here now after seeing this relationship between the distance then it's a substitute from these equations sq x minus z this is sq and uh, which is rq and uh, the os the os which is equal to r o which is equal to y you can see here below this is the refractive index this is the refractive index for air it's approximately equal to one then for this case height above the liquid is the height above the liquid from here um, to the, where there is the, uh, no parallax eh, between the pin image and the image from the object is equal to h x plus z is equal to x plus this z okay this is our general uh, formula but for a second case is when we don't have a mirror plane mirror above the surface of the liquid where we will have a liquid with factor index n and the object at the bottom of the container then the uh, two a uh, normal rays uh, that uh, pass directly from the head and from the tip and uh, that uh, one that from the pin that is searching pin from sliding cock that is moving until where the image of the pin and the image of this uh, object will be a uh, concise or the condition of no parallax will be achieved okay now uh, the first ray is a uh, incident ray on the surface n and at a point n and reflect reflected at a uh, arrow and where the extrapolated reflected ray is forming an image with this a uh, normal ray at this point and also the incidence uh, ray from the object o is hit at this same end and the refracted at a point uh, on the tip of the object searching pin and uh, this uh, extrapolated backwards uh, refracted rays here is give us an image at a point m and this image is coincide with image formed due to reflection when we know that image formed due to reflections the distance of the object of the spin is the same as distance of the image that's, he, that, well, that's why here is x and this is x remember uh, the depth of the uh, object is in the liquid is y as from this case and now we have incidence angle incidence angle as alternate angle and we have refracted angle here now we find the relationship between the incidence angle refracted angle and the index of refractions with this x and y okay consider the triangles uh, l o m n and the triangle l o o n okay for both the r and for both i as you can see now from snell laws we know for, for air is equal to one and we substitute these values and at the end we assume that observer eyes is very very close to this normal and the o n will be equal to O n will be equal to O L which is equal to y and the M n is equal to L M which is x and we substitute from these equations and we have a real depth C divided by apparent the apparent the real depth C as you can see divided by the apparent depth C of the image from the by refractions which is it's the same as that from the by reflections okay it's just we use the advantage of reflections uh, laws to to, to just have a apparent depth of uh, uh, image from due to refractions okay hence you know we will have refractive index of screen for this case height above the liquid it above the liquid is equal to x okay is equal to x which is the apparent depth of the image as you can see by the help of reflections law okay now when from the equations we have given the uh, real depth which is 10 and refractive index which is n because here we consider the case b and now we will have the height 
uh, above of the searching pin above the liquid which is equal to 7.5 centimeter and which is equal to x thanks for watching like share